Welcome back. Here I am with the explanation of a new poem to you, which is titled The Ball Poem and is written by John Berryman. So let's proceed. What is the boy now? Who has lost his ball what what is he to do so the poet here starts this poem with a question he wants to know the frame of mind that the boy is in after losing the ball because for a boy, for a child, an item of play is the most important thing. And when a child loses his favorite object, he becomes very depressed. So the point wants to know what is going on in the mind of the boy who has lost his uh, most important thing what what is he to do and what is he going to do now what is he supposed to do now after losing this I saw it go merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over there it is in water in the water so it says that he saw it go the point saw the ball go away from the boy and it, as it moved away from the boy ran away from the boy it went away bouncing down the street and it was happy the ball was happy merrily bouncing means uh, happily joyfully bouncing say leaping jumping so in that way uh, the ball was moving away that is the separation here it shows separation which is always painful but here it's giving the contrary idea it expresses com contrary idea here and says that the ball was merrily bouncing away so in one hand the poet creates an imagery here wanting us to visualize the thing but on the other hand it also gives us the idea that uh, the ball was happy as it moved away from the boy and then finally it it went into the water that is it changed it changed the sphere from land it went into the water there is a complete shift complete change in uh, its uh, say its location no use to say oh there are other balls an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid trembling staring down all his young days into the harbor where his ball went so uh, the poet says here that there is uh, no use it's useless it's futile to say to remind him that there are a lot 
some other balls but there are a lot of other balls out there you can get uh, the and you can get another ball very easily so why to lament the loss but saying this is useless is futile because uh, the boy is in the grip of sorrow he is in the firm grip of grief he is so much in grief that he stands rigid that he stands still unmoved trembling and staring down he stands still there stand still like a statue but trembling trembling because of the pain of losing the ball staring down and he looks down he stares down he uh, say looks at the ball with fixed eyes he gazes the ball and he knows that all his young days are now into the harbor that he has lost his childhood uh, with the ball with the departure of the ball with the running away of the ball his childhood has also run away his childhood has also gone away moved away from his life and is now into the harbor harbor means a port and port means a seaport say so the ball is into says the ball is in the sea now and finding a ball in the sea is meaningless is useless that is that's lost where his ball went so his ball is lost his childhood childhood is lost and so he is in grief